what's up fellow lords of gaming and welcome back to the channel so we're jumping in with some more solo love and garage content i would specifically want to go over the new uh not the excuse me, bond system the new gym system that's basically in the game that's available to you from the battlefield of chaos so what is this uh essentially it's a new gameplay element uh featured in the game where you can collect gems from playing the new game mode battlefield of chaos which is a semi horde wave mode every t every other day we basically have two of these available and uh from them you're able to collect specifically specific gems that you can slot and get passive uh buffs basically from so for instance you're gonna have some gems that are gonna come in a couple of varieties you've got the main looking gem which is like a healing uh you know not a healing excuse me it's like a normal looking gem you have these chipped fragments i'm looking at this because i'm thinking of diablo basically so you've got these chipped gems uh, you get the normal gym and then as you make your way up and progress through the level you'll unlock as well these like I don't know flawless gyms we won't call those this so we go chipped or fragmented whatever and then normal gyms and then you know radiant gyms and you have the ability to put these together and get even a tier 4 of gym as well so these are going to be available through the uh, uh, Battlefield of Chaos mode. So uh, it's weird because the, the numbers don't seem to really reflect uh, the difficulty. Like I was able to complete wave three all the way up to there. It's 242. I'm not above 242 in power, I'm probably 20, uh, 20, you know, something off, whatever. I wasn't able to complete any of the battle missions, but I was able to complete the content, which will still net you some gems. Now, if you look at each of the gems, they all have a rating basic, basically to them. So for instance, your red gems, you have healing given, you have additional attack, and then you have attack percent. Obviously, you're gonna be probably marching to try to get that attack percent so that way you can get that buff to your account because that's probably the more crucial one inside of there. And then if you were to look at like one of the other ones that was available, specifically, we can look at Tyrian Ruins. And over here, you can see that we've got mana consumption reduction. We've got uh, additional mana power gems. And then you also have speed gems that are available for you. And so you kind of get the idea of where we're going with most of these gems. So there's another way that you can earn gems as well. And I want to make that one abundantly clear to players as well, because when you click on any of these gems, it's basically going to tell you the source for the gems and is going to say hey you can only get these from uh battlefield of chaos but that's not true it's actually not true so let's take a look at the other place where you can get them they recently added in the bond system for the for the characters inside the game um i've gone over this in another video go check that one out but inside the system as you level up uh your characters um especially your ssr characters you'll notice that at level 60 and at level 80 you have the ability to collect a gem from those characters so you're guaranteed that you're going to get a tier 3 gem for instance for getting characters to level 80 you're guaranteed to get you know a normal gem for a tier, tier 2 gem for uh getting to level 60. now if you look at your if you look at your ssr your sr characters You'll notice that in here, these characters don't have the ability to give you those type of gems, but they can give you some chip gem fragments. So what should you be doing with these gems? Essentially, what you're going to be looking at is trying to insert these into the new gem system, which is going to have this wheel here. So this wheel essentially is going to have eight slots per each of the element types. So, you know, you've got wind, you've got uh, light, you've got dark, you've got... Um, fire and you've got water inside of here so you're essentially allowed to click on any one of these gym slots and you're basically allowed to equip them notice that it gives you the note that you cannot unequip gems when you add a new gym that gym will disappear far be it from me to give you guys insight but we can rest assured that they're going to give you the ability to unequip these gems probably in the future by purchasing some type of item for gold or something like that and that's how they're going to extend you extend you know the the micro transactions in the game like i said to you guys i still am not agreement with the way the game's released i felt like this game would have been a dynamic title if it had been released in a line of devil may cry or something like that and just given out for that type of content but instead we're getting micro transaction on content that we would see in a title like devil may cry that's the truth of the matter so now when we look at those you're basically allowed to equip these gems 
Okay, so that's not all you're able to do. So once we do this, I'm gonna suggest to you guys that at the very least, if you're collecting these normal gems, the speed gems, like, you know, whatever, equip those to your character. Like you're gonna, you're gonna immediately notice some serious stat boosts from just equipping these elements. Um, you don't have to necessarily equip like, you know, any of these chipped gems and stuff like that, but you're not hurting yourself in any shape, form or way by just essentially just equipping them. Like, you know, like, I, you're, you're gonna get some, some you're gonna get some boost in here that that could be reflective of your power overall um i would not just i would just say go past this and there's a reason why so for instance we can go to the fusion system and they did add this in here as well so you can go down here to the fusion system and you'll notice that it says here i can you know i can do these gems and i can put them together where i could use chip gem fragments you know and so forth and i can put them together and three of them will net me a a a, a uh three of them will net me a gym however go take a look at the rates right so it's important that you scroll down on a race because i've got a 2.2 percent chance of getting that gym fragment from there but guess what you can still get these normal chip fragments and it's 66 percent success there so almost more than a third of a success rate is going to come from you getting just exchanging these and getting additional gems. And here goes the messed up part about this. Say you fail. It does count for a percentage chance, but it's a very small percentage. It's increasing by one freaking percent. Now you have a bit of a pity system inside of here as well. You can see that with this draw point right here where you're basically going to get some sort of pity once you hit 10 of these draws then you will get an additional gem but that's essentially 60 of these chipped fragments you only get three runs of the battlefield of chaos a day three so essentially if you got chip gem fragments maybe you just use the chip gem fragments to try to get better fragments or whatever but i would not suggest that you use your normal fragments right now because you're missing out on power by basically doing those so even the chip gem fragments, I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd wager to say like you're probably best to just ride that shit out and like use those and then just replace them. You've got better success at getting the power to your account that you probably need by utilizing those and then dumping them, than dumping them into the super success rate system or, you know, like super success rate. I tried and I did four of these. So that essentially means I wasted 12, 12 chip gem fragments that I could have slotted into various uh, things and received those benefits um, from those. And that's just effectively what I'm getting. So like, that's a bit of a lesson learned for me. Like even in this regard, in this case, I wouldn't even wager to put one inside here. So like I said, though, you can come over to your hunters and any of your SR characters. So you can see here I've got, uh, you know, uh, Choi is basically uh, level 59. So I can level him up, get a 60. I can level Min up, get a 60. Uh, who else can I do that with? I can go here as well. So it might be beneficial if you're around this level to do this. So all of these characters that I'm leveling up, especially my SSR characters, these are all netting me essentially by leveling them up now a fragment that I'll be able to use to level up my account. So there we go. So that's all of those characters basically at level 60 now for me where I'm at in the game. So all my SSRs have basically hit the level 60 mark. We could even go with uh, her here and we can say, I'll, I'll get that one up. So now I'm able to go back into the bond system or excuse me, the uh, yeah, the bond system. Excuse me. I'm able to go back in the bond system and on those characters I can collect. So this one, OK, she was just she's an SR. Excuse me. Yeah. So she was just an SR. Let's go take a look at some of my non SR ones. There we go. So the White Tiger Guild, for instance, here we go. He's going to net me uh, a, a, a gem. So we'll see which one I get from him and I get a speed gym. So I'm able to increase the speed right on that character. Um, I'm able to go over to Hunter's Guild and Choi will net me a fragment as well. And it's going to be a, a additional attack. I was hoping for an attack one that would have been better. Lee Bora, what's she going to give me? Uh, looks like a healing given gym. <laughs> So they really didn't want to give you those gems over there for, the, for that one. They were like, no, nah, bro, you're not getting it. But you get the idea here is essentially that I'm getting um, 
these are these are all not that great in terms of what they're giving me right now i'm able to basically collect these by just leveling up characters in the pool and this is going to net me something i i would not suggest that you go about the measure of uh doubling this up now i think that some of these effects are going to have certain benefits and some of these are just gonna be outright like trash like i think all of these gems basically have a stat line for them but where you're looking at the benefits so let's take a look in the codex real quick and they should have added the gem slots but maybe not i thought they would have have added those inside of here okay N never mind they haven't added inside there yet so essentially what I'm looking for is those gems specifically from those characters that is going to allow me to enable, you know, leveling up my um, my gem system for which I'll now receive like the bonus account. So you can see here um, what do gems basically do for me overall. That's what they're going to do. You know, it's going to give you like minute levels and increases. But I would highly suggest that you utilize these instead of throwing them to the uh, to, I, I would suggest that you utilize these instead of throwing them to the to the wayside just because of the fact that they're an account wide overall bonus so um it applies to your hunters it applies to sung it applies to your shadows so you'll see some really big increases just based on that fact i i i, I don't think that the rate up system that they have there is is really good i i, I really don't uh, I, 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 I just don't see that as a viable method of basically getting additional gems. Um, if you looking at it that way, you're, you're probably going to lose out on immediate power that you could get. Like I said, you're better off getting these and then replacing them more than you are just throwing them out. And once you get a system that you basically have going um, for you that basically says, hey, like I've got everything in place that I really wanted, then you know then yeah then maybe start looking at maybe you fusing these but at the current moment you're gonna lose out on way too much to basically do this now it does kind of suck that i have to unlock all of these stages in order to get to the next stage of an of, of, it, of, of an element but you know i guess it is what it is you know what i mean something's better than nothing in terms of getting that it's artificial power to me but it's power nonetheless so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe. Help out the channel and help its growth. Until next time, guys. Peace.